these five shapes up here. You can talk to your table and cheer up. What do you call them? Parallelogram. Yes. Parallelogram. Yes. We can make it into a rectangle because if we just like, like cut it, if we cut it, cut, 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 yeah, cut the um, the diagonal lines off. If we cut the diagonal lines off, then it will equal. Yeah. Then we'll have a rectangle. Squared. So somehow I'm going to have to figure out how many squares I can fit in there. Remember when we had our, our rectangles on our table and we tried to put how many paper squares would fit in there? What did we do next? So this is now 10 square units. How did I get that though? What's my formula? What formula do we use to find the area of a rectangle? Length times width. Length times width. Here's my length of five. Here's my width of two. So it's length times width equals area. We were to cut there. See the missing piece? Does it look similar to what we folded over? And do what here? Add to the side. Here's what I want you to do. I want you with your ruler, a nice straight line from a corner down to the base. Draw that line. That's the only way I can make this shape into a rectangle. No. Where else could I have done it? Megan, why don't you show us? Yeah. Here's what I'd like you to do now. At your table, be very careful. I want you to cut on that dotted line. And then on the red paper, I want you to glue your shapes down so that they form a rectangle. Take a look at the exercise. I mean, 12 times 7. Right? 84. 84. Yeah. 84. Do we have to cut out every single parallelogram we find and turn it into a rectangle? No. Mm -mm. Do we? Yes. No. No. No, why not? Because it'll be the same. Why will it be the same, Shannon? Because you're not subtracting anything from it, you're just changing the way it looks. Yeah, we cut it because it, this side was over here. And um, we ended up just cutting it, and then we flipped it over and put it up here. But this is where it's glued. I'm going to give you your exit tickets. 